Hi, my name is Nick Jeffries of New Projects, West London's number one design and build construction company. You're watching New Weekly, episode 13. Downstairs, um, buying subscriptions for uh, audio licenses so we can create more great content with interesting soundtracks for YouTube. When we go new deep sea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing next year when me and Bill we're gonna create this city yeah. under the <laughs> under the co- under the water called Atlantis? Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> Work with an architect, get the thing demolished, and then you can build maybe a basement, ground, first, second loft, and increase the square footage by three times. His wife is going to go mad and she's going to kick him out the house if he buys a lens for that. Well, look at this and one. The this, is the other one. this is the 6000 brand new Sony, which is the cheapest cine lens what I can see. fresh delivery off fuel. So this is my protein shake. So I get one of these delivered every month on a subscription and I would highly recommend them. Chocolate, vanilla, berry, So, we've still got to knock out Nobella Street, Bingham Place, Basement Project in Battersea, Alexandra Avenue, um, Palace Gate Road, Tregunta Road, and Westfields Avenue. So, old Zach, He's actually come down with COVID over Christmas and he's not very well at all. Uh, I haven't really spoke too much to him, but um, hopefully he's back in soon because we need some prices uh, back to clients for all these projects. So I'm just recording this on our new little toy, which is a GoPro. And as you see, it's so much easier to use because it's like on a sort of selfie stick, built in microphones, um, rather than having my phone up and the pain about recording on your phone. If a call comes in, recording stops. So it's an utter pain in the neck. So GoPro, what is this, a GoPro 10. And uh, so far, it's working fantastic. I've just been down to show Zoltan and he's had a little play around with the functions to see if we can get it sort of set up to work great in sort of low light. Because if it's 4K, it makes it a little bit darker. So uh, we just had a little play around of it. He's downstairs um, buying subscriptions for uh, audio licenses so we can create more great content with interesting soundtracks for YouTube. Um, but yeah, what have we here? Let's, um, let's, it's good though, because I can just put the camera down, do that, and now you're watching me on the computer. Um, password. So we have, The North End Road project, there's a few emails coming in today. Looks like everyone's back on it. Um, Before Christmas, we had to send over the method statements and risk assessments for the project because it is right on a main high street. And we've got to get a scaffold license to put the scaffold on the pavement to go right over the property. And um, we want to make sure that project is run really, really safely because we don't want any dramas with pedestrians on the pavements. Um, 
This morning I went over to um, Crabtree. So Crabtree is the project we've got in Battersea. And um, that's still moving forward slowly. We've had a few dramas there like we do on these construction projects. But um, uh, Billy, our uh, subcontractor, he is there at the moment. We've just literally bought some tarpaulins to cover the, the windows up because some of the windows haven't been fitted yet and we're just covering up the openings because the water was getting in over Christmas. Um, and uh, he's going to be cracking on tomorrow. So tomorrow, 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 we need to push it at Bloody Project Har because it's driving me mad. Um, it's only small, but you know, these smaller projects can cause big dramas if they aren't run properly. So we need to jump on that one. And my confidence is, well, with Billy, I'm sure it's, it's in safe hands. Um, what else, what else, what else? Well, to be fair, London is pretty quiet at the moment. Everyone goes away. They're either in St. Bart's or going skiing. And usually the first week back in January, it's pretty quiet. phones run a few times um, I haven't got Izzy in today I haven't got Jemima in today it's just me and Zoltan Claudia is back next week she's uh, in Hungary uh, and sort of hopefully next Monday we'll have the 14 back but as I said it's quite nice being back in the office um, I'm just working on this um, this uh, GoPro uh, Hero 10 because I want to make sure, you know, I get used to it. We we make some more interesting sort of content. It's very easy to use. T tell me in the description what you think. Um, because it's easier for me, rather than holding my iPhone up, it's on a little tripod. And you can like place it down easily. Fantastic. Because when I was using my phone at my desk, I had this bloody contraption here. Look. Stick the phone on there. It's easy to get um, reception because in my office we're 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 on the ground floor below a big tower block, so we've got a lot of concrete uh, above us, and signal four five G is pretty limited. So when I when I speak to someone on my hands free, I usually put it on my stand so I don't have any sort of contact with it. It's just better signal. Um, so, well, there's my first bit of content on my GoPro. Let me know what you think. First bill of 2022. Now this one is for our broadband. So in our office, we've got a designated fiber line in, which they had to dig up the road to get it into the property. Now, for that privilege, we get our own uninterrupted uh, broadband line which costs I think it's about 330 pounds a bloody month hang on a sec actually there's one here 434 pounds a month it's a nightmare because we've got a four-year contract and they, it actually runs out I think end of this year so I can't wait to get out of this one. Oh, what else we got here Scottish power Again, this property is so expensive to heat, especially in the winter when all the girls have got all their blow fires on and all the heaters are on and the gaps in between the glass doors, they just let cold air blow through as if the door was wide open. So we need to sort out a solution to stop the draft coming into the office because um, I think our energy bill here, don't forget it's only like a 2,000 square foot office, 
in Fulham on the high street. And I think the energy bill here is like 300 quid a month, 400 quid a month. It's ridiculous. So we need to look at ways to get our overheads down in the office because um, that's what we should do anyway. Makes sense, doesn't it? So catch up time. We need everyone back in the office. Will is on the way back from Scotland where he's been to see his poorly mum and dad, but he's back on Thursday. We've got Bradley coming in there as well because we're going to be talking about Wandsworth Bridge Road, LEB Street, and some multi-unit development opportunities we've got on the table. Now, um, the 10,000 square foot house in Chigwell, that's still bubbling away. Would you believe it? The owners of the land, they came down with COVID as well. So, so many people have been poorly all over Christmas because of this bloody COVID-19. Fingers crossed, my family's okay. I've had it at 12 months ago. Uh, my missus has had it, uh, my daughter's had it, and lots of friends and family have had it a long time ago. Um, the big one in Holland Park, still haven't heard a bloody thing. Um, maybe the owners are still in the process with their architects about the design and interior layouts but one minute they're striving forward because they want to get us locked into a november december start now guess what it's january uh, but it's a massive project and you cannot rush to these things there's lots of hoops and hurdles to overcome and don't forget this is a grade two listed building so there's going to be lots of um, heritage reports to sign off and lots of conditions to overcome um, but yeah as you see on my desk earlier we've got loads of projects loads of opportunities lots of interesting um, projects we want to get involved in so let's go down and see what Zoltan's up to. Because we need like a dynamic range of things, dynamic sort of. When you do something like talking, talking in a car, jazzy. Then this one. Sometimes we need this kind of yeah. Follow it, the whole YouTube because I'm watching them all the time. I know exactly what's happening, you know, so I know all this one they're using. They're not using the other one. The youngish. Now they have some specifications like for electric, pop, kind of funky, whatever it is. So now I know already where I'm looking for, where I'm looking for and where I go. They're gonna charge you uh, yearly. Yeah, that's right. not bad. That's oh, not they want that, that. They take that one up front in one go. That's what they do. You want to pay monthly? Yes. Yeah. yeah, this that's one a month. month. Yeah, it's a but month. Is it, it's a month, but it's build annually. Or, yeah. Oh, that's build annually. Yeah, yeah. There's no other option of that one. But actually, that's the best one because then you can do unlimited. Just to think, think about it. Unlimited is might be meant the whole adoptions, which is broadcast and TV. We don't really have this. We don't really want it right now so you have podcast tiktok yeah facebook youtube instagram you don't even have anything else yeah yeah i mean i'll it, just it, do i'll just do this monthly yeah, one for the time being yeah yeah and do it try it whatever yeah. we can anytime we can upgrade badgemore uh, grange in henley still waiting for the owner to get her pre-app back for the double extension full refurb so fingers crossed that will be coming our way in january um, and also the cotswolds project that's still ticking over uh, there was an email this morning from the client saying that there was some kind of concerns about the uh, structure not being um, built to the plan so I know we've been on the phone and I think the one of the windows is slightly out of line which needs to be rectified yeah. 
So it's Wednesday morning, the sun's out, it's bright, but it's freezing cold in London. I'm just heading to a project in Hammersmith because Billy is stripping out with the boys and um, let's go and see what progress he is making. When we go new deep sea. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing next year when me and Bill we're gonna create this city under the <laughs> under the court under the water called Atlantis? <laughs> Just like a seed in a garden, you will grow to be tall. Staring out over miles of land without it, but wanting to build a wall. So that was the project in uh, Hammersmith and um, Billy seems to be cracking on quite well. Only been there a few hours. So the boys have already loaded up one uh, van's worth of rubble and rubbish, which is gonna be taken away. Um, this project is the one with this kitchen extension, loft conversion, full refurb. It is running behind program through a a number of different kinds of issues but I'm sure we're gonna catch up pretty soon Billy met the client on site yesterday and she seems very happy at the moment so uh, fingers crossed this one will be back on track <laughs> Around of my little toy. It's very good because it, the, the angle where it captures everything. everything. What's this here? There's no hiking. So maybe, maybe email Zach yeah. and just say, spoke to the Knightsbridge lady yeah. Yeah. and um, uh, maybe next week when you're back, when you're feeling better, let's set up, set up a call. Yeah, yeah, well, halfway through email, I'd just let her know. Um, but she, yeah, she said that she was wondering if on some of the break, when she gets more break down, yeah. um, whether there'd be ways that she could sort of stop running because she hasn't got the biggest budget. So if there's ways- How much is, do you know how much her budget is? No, she hasn't. Said, but, um, she... I'm just going to leave this running so I can watch Jemima all day while she's doing. It's <laughs> good, isn't it? I can just go, just go in out for an hour just to make sure. I don't think so. So this is done now, everything. Yeah. Let's start to do the stuff. 
intro, bridge, bridge stuff, everything, uh, music wise. I'll add some effects on it. I'll just get some effects. Yeah. Uh, but we got, you know, this art list, really yeah. nice. Uh, also, I uh, got the. Um, we have the montage as well here, mm -hmm. which is we have to cover it up with the new music because we want to change everything now around. So it sounds like this. So when you talk, uh, I put an old one on, as if you can you can hear it how how it sounds like. No dramas on party walls. Uh, building control have signed off all the uh, structure so far, so it's all looking good. Uh, client is extremely happy. Hopefully, this comes in this yeah. star. I'm going to get a complete package for yeah. the internal yeah. design. Yeah. It has to be a little bit of more faster yeah, and nice like comment serious. From yeah, this this part is serious. We want to show you the seriousness. And then when it comes out like this, since September last year, as it comes out until as September well, 2021, prices down. have gone up over 25 percent. Here are five ways you can increase the value of your property. Number one, simply a refurbishment of the existing property. Maybe you can work with an interior designer to give you some great ideas to do a slight remodel. Updating the kitchens and the bathrooms and the sanitary. Laying new flooring, new tiles, updating the lighting system. All this will add value to your property in the long term. Number two, kitchen extensions. Whether it be a side return or just an extension going out the back through permitted development or if London, a simple planning application. This is a great way to add more square footage on the ground floor, making that open plan wow factor kitchen with the bifolding doors opening up into the garden. Number three, a loft conversion, a mansard, a pod room. These are great ways to add value to your property to increase the square footage in the loft. You can add bedrooms, en suites, study in the pod room. We do these all the time in Fulham, Chelsea, South Kensington and other parts of London. Number four, the basement. Adding a basement under the footprint of your home is the ultimate way to add value to the property. In West London, you can probably increase your square footage by 800 to 1,000 square feet under a normal terraced house. It doesn't really work outside London because the pound per square foot to create the basement is such a lot of money. But in Fulham, Chelsea, South Kensington, Putney, Hammersmith, Barnes, it works very well because the resale value to the property is double than what it costs to do the basement. Now, number five is demolishing the existing property and building a new build house. Now, it's quite hard to do in prime areas of London, but it's not impossible. But if you live in a property where you've got a little bit of land around you and the property is dated and maybe it's built in the 1960s or 70s where it's a horrible sort of brick building with no character and maybe all the levels are wrong, work with an architect, get the thing demolished and then you can build maybe a basement, ground, first, second loft and increase the square footage by three times. So that is my five ways to increase the value of your property in London or surrounding areas. As you know, I love educating myself and consuming great content online. Over Christmas and New Year, 
I signed up to Masterclass. So Masterclass is an online education platform where you can sign up for a year and you've got access to the world's greatest business people, artists, actors, other professionals, and they have a class teaching you what they've learned over their lifetime in their um, business. So I've watched three so far. One was a guy called Chris Voss, and he's ex-FBI hostage negotiator. Now, this is an amazing course. He teaches you how to basically negotiate, sell, and manipulate the situation. Now, this is what he had to do when he was trying to negotiate a situation to release hostages or a situation where maybe um, someone's gonna do something terrible and he needs to talk these people out of it. But now, he's got a business called the Black Swan Group where he educates business leaders and his sales force in techniques to manipulate situations in day-to-day -day business. So this is a really good course. I highly recommend watching Chris Voss and about his sales negotiation and um, manipulation. It's just all one thing. It's a really interesting course. I find it really uh, knowledgeable and I've learned a lot off this one. And also um, there's a guy I've never discovered him before. He's called Daniel Peak, and he has got a course about sales and marketing and branding. Again, amazing. The things he talks about and literally it's a little bit like what we're doing now. There's a great um, is a camera, great backdrop, the audio is crystal clear, um, how, how the director is producing the whole image. It's just really easy to sit there and consume this content. And um, you know, I love sales, marketing and branding and that one is awesome. I highly recommend that, like, recommend that one. And the last one I've been just starting is Lewis Hamilton, the F1 driver. And that one is all about performing at his absolute peak. You know, making sure when he gets in that car, even running up to the race, he's 100% focused on absolutely everything. No phone, no social media, just literally laser focused on getting in that car and driving and winning that race. So again, brilliant, highly motivated, and I would recommend that. So anyone who's interested in consuming great content, I would recommend Masterclass. Morning everyone, it is Thursday and it is 9 a.m and it's zero Celsius, it's bloody freezing. When I left my house this morning, it was minus five. Can you believe it? The beauty about this Tesla, I can set it to wake up at a certain time. So just before I get into the car, it automatically heats up. All the windows defrosted, the door handles defrosted, the heated seats come on and it pre conditions the battery as well to get optimum performance when it's cold because otherwise if you don't do the battery in the morning it runs down really quickly the performance jumps down and I can see now it's got the, the, um, the symbol on the battery to say it's, the battery's really cold so the actual mileage has dropped down really low so that needs to be preconditioned and that will drop back up again or I need to pop into a supercharger to get some juice. So this morning I've taken a walk 
up Cloncurry Street in Fulham and we're gonna see exactly how many basements there is in this one street. Let's take a count. OMW, on my way to you. Good at what I do. I'm OMW. Watch me walk away, putting myself on display. One, two, three a day. I'm on my way, on my way. I'ma have you on ten toes, watching my diamond after glow. I know you wanna take me home. I'm on my way, on my way. Catch me on Insta, I'm verified They want me quiet, I amplify I'm on my way, on my way to The best thing that you've ever seen, you Know that you bow to the queen, you Lose all your senses and reason I'll give you something to believe So as you can see, there is 31 basements built in one street in Fulham. That is Cloncurry. 31 basements in one street. Amazing. Billy, how are you? Yeah, not bad, you? Good, good, good. You on site? Yeah, yeah, I just went to go pick up some bags from Screwfix, so I'm, I literally just got back there now. Excellent. Freezing, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm wearing two pairs of gloves. <laughs> yeah, two pairs and I'm still freezing through it. Jesus, how many boys there today? Three of us today. Okay, good, good, yeah, good. Yeah, I only need to have a room done today, so, do you know what I mean? There's not much we can do after that until we start laying down the concrete below and then they finish up the um yeah the thing on monday and tuesday yeah 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 so, strip it all up. so I, I that the one in north end road i'm thinking maybe because if you're going to be doing crabtree and regal you don't want to spread yourself too thin no yeah yeah so it's fine yeah but i, I do i 
I've got someone in mind anyway to do it. Sure. Yeah. He's got his own. He's got his own firm. He's very. He's very good. Yeah. 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 So, so just I'll, I'll, what we want, we just want to bring in some more, some more trusted subcontractors who can yeah. um, we can just sort of pass them the work and you know then they can crack on and they'll be branded up as NU and um, we just want zero headaches. Yeah. No. That's it. Well, yeah, I know everyone anyway, so I'll sort it out. I've sent the plans over to a friend of mine called Sean. He's got yeah. his own company over near me. Yeah. And I've known him since I was born, so um, so he'll, he'll sort that out. If there's something he's interested in, then he'll do it. Yeah, it's a... It's if, a... Not, then we've got, if not, then we've got the tradesmen, do you know what I mean? If you wanted us to do it, then we do yeah. it quite a lot. It's just, it's just where it is. We need a good scaffolding company. Um, yeah, because they're asking for a scaffold plan as soon as possible. So, um, yeah, maybe if you... Uh, well, if, if you yeah, I'll, I'll reach out to someone and um, that's a North End Road. Yeah, so North End Road, we need a scaffolding plan ASAP. And obviously, yeah, the, friend, they can do that job. The scaffolders can get signed up straight away. Yeah, well, my friend has a scaffolding company. I'll give him a call now. All right, mate. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, I'll, I will pop up to uh, Crabtree in a bit. Say hello. All right, then. All right, mate. See you in a bit. All right, sweet. See you in a bye bit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Heading over to Westminster now to go and see a beautiful apartment on the River Thames, which we've signed up and we should be starting in a couple of weeks' time. That is a big investment. 
Yeah, it's what it is, is when I put together everything, how I want the system, you know, one system together, it, this would be the cheapest kind of, not cinema camera, but it's kind of, that, but we can achieve that, like a cinema camera, a cinema camera FX9, yeah. Sony, this big, like, like this one, this is a baby of it, this is a baby. Yeah. But the FX6 is big like this, cinema yeah. camera, yeah? yeah. But that's, so, ju that's just purely video, isn't it? Yes. That's that video. doesn't do photos, and there's a lot. And there's one thing that's definitely very bad. There is no stabilization on it. Weird. So why they not putting the only things what is missing out from it? Yeah. Why not? Put, because they don't want that. You know, the different markets. There's a market for the hybrids one. The market mm -hmm. for this. If this one would be a perfect camera, nobody would buy the other one. Because it's the same range of price, you mm -hmm. see? The same. From this price, this one is 108 one, per month, if I release it. And the other one is 114. Mm -hmm. So it's very close price. Why would I get these small things when I have a proper cinema camera mm -hmm. with every kind of things in it? So That's a brand new model. Yeah, but, but, but this one is like one mine, like hybrid, so you can make photos and do videos in the same time. So they made hybrid so it can change. So it's not a cinema camera, but, but that it looks exactly what you've got up there. Yes, because they did not change it because oh, so that is they, a, they did not change that A1. Is a, a1. A1. Yeah. And this one is a that's the one actually. That's the one. Oh, that's the first one, but they call it one this one because they wanna be the one. Yeah. You know that's why they call it again back yeah. to the one. So that's the one. I yeah. have a thing there, number yeah. three, yeah. which is much, much better. That's a good camera already. Yeah. And they made this brand new, brand new processor inside, two processors processing, yeah. uh, to make that 50 megapixel 8K <laughs> video you can do. Now, you don't do 8K just that, because of the- That is 5K, so what's the lens to go with it? That's like 6K, because 6K. it's included with yeah. six and a half. Yeah. So if you get this lens, and you get maybe, there's a smaller one as well, but this is 10 megapixel, not 50 megapixel. This is good as well, but uh, it's a little bit downside. What about the lens? The lens here, we have a. This is a. Lens was not doing um, autofocus. It doesn't do autofocus, but they made it such a ways, like I can zoom in to do you, focus mm. on you, and when I zoom out, not changing yeah. anything. It's still in focus, everything is still focused. So I don't know yet, I have to try this one out because this is- So experience. Zoltan has already got, let's have a little camera count, what we've got in the office. So we got the GoPro, one. Yeah. We've got this one, two. We've got- Your camera. Your camera as well, that's Three. So cool. And we've got his beauty, four. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. Guess what? It's still not good enough. No. He wants something else. No, let me tell you why. His wife is gonna go mad and she's gonna <laughs> kick him out the house if he buys a lens for that. <laughs> and look at this and one. The this, is the other one. this is the 6000 brand new Sony, which is the cheapest cine lens what I can see. But the range is not too big, you know. So we have what to... do you think? I think he's crazy. But if any of you guys out there want any videos shot for your business, let us know because Zoltan will be more than happy to help you create some branding, some marketing, and that will generate some, hopefully, sales online via Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, if you want any help, give us a, a call on 02077-316841 or email info at anyprojects.co and ask for Zoltan. So that is our first week of 2022 completed. It's been a busy week. It's been a bloody busy Friday, I know that, with a new project started in Westminster. It's a fantastic flat right on the River Thames, so we're gonna have some great content. But thank you for watching episode 13, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because it does help like, share, and tell your friends about new projects. Have a great weekend, and I'll speak to you next week. Thank you.